What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Today I have for you Centennial Canadian Rye Whiskey. Uh, this is a limited edition. Um, it doesn't say on the bottle that it's 10 years old, but it came with a flap that went over the bottle that said that it was 10 years old. So I'm going to say it's 10 years old. Um, this was actually given to me from a friend. Uh, my friend Mike, who appeared in one of my earlier videos, uh, to do a review on. I will be giving it back when the review is finished. Um, I tried this whiskey a long time ago, probably about, I want to say six or seven years ago. Maybe not this exact edition, but uh, one called Centennial as well. Also, it was distilled by... Um, the High River Distillery, or High Wood Distillers, sorry. Um, but that was a while ago and I don't remember exactly how it tasted. Uh, having tried this today, I will say that it exceeded my expectations. I didn't think it was as good as, you know, after trying it today, I was more impressed. Um, this is made with a combination of rye wheat, winter rye wheat, and winter, uh, sorry, winter rye and winter wheat. It says it right here. Uh, Canadian soft winter wheat and rye grains distill this limited whiskey. Um, and then it's aged in charred barrels, which I believe are second or third fill ex bourbon barrels, likely. Okay. Um, like I said, it's about 10 years old, but it doesn't say natural color or non chill filtered anywhere on the bottle. So I'm assuming it's both of those things. It's chill filtered and there's added color. Um, it's not overly dark, so it's possible that it's natural color, but that's a selling feature. So whiskey companies that are putting out a natural product that are not advertising that they're putting out a natural product are doing a disservice to themselves. Um, Anyway, let's get to the whiskey and then we'll talk a little bit more about that. On the nose, I got a lot of caramel. It's very, very sweet nose. It's a very, very sweet nose. Okay, some fruitiness, your typical apple, your typical pear-like smell um, from a Canadian whiskey. All right, on the palate. This is super sweet. Um, get some burnt toffee, caramel. It's very similar to uh, the new Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye or uh, 2015 edition um, because of the content of Northern uh, winter rye okay that that has a very distinct sweetness okay it's sweeter than your normal rye grain okay one more time on the palate yeah so it's actually really smooth um, sweet very, very good for a Canadian whiskey. I really wish that I could confirm for you whether or not this was natural color and non-chill filtered. Um, I'm assuming it's not. I really wish it was because it, t it has all the right uh, ingredients to be a really, really good whiskey. It could be bottled at a little bit higher. It's bottled at 40%, but I'm not gonna take that away from it. It is a solid B+. This is a good Canadian whiskey. If you're a Canadian whiskey fan, I can't see why you wouldn't love this. And at the price of around $30, you can't go wrong. Okay, so B plus. Um, I will be doing very shortly a two reviews on this. I have a sample coming from the UK to do the actual review on the Macallan 18 year old. This is the 1997 uh, vintage. 
okay? That's last year's vintage, the last of the vintage years. Now they're bottled, um, uh, now they have the bottle date on the actual box, so, and uh, the bottle as well. So this one says 1997, what would have been 1998 this year actually says 2016. So, um, like I said, I wanna do two reviews with this one. One, I'm gonna be doing a review on it. Two, I'm gonna be doing uh, a chat about collectible whiskey. Because the 19, I got lucky. My, my sister-in-law went to Florida. She got me the 1997 version, um, which is already in the UK, 300 pounds. Okay, I paid $210 for this bottle. And that's the price of the 2016. And for whatever reason, the Macallan 18 year old vintage um, is going up at a dramatic rate every year. So if you look at like a 1992 version, which is only five years difference, it's over 500 pounds, which is absurd in my opinion, like at the rate that it's going up. So I'm gonna talk more in detail about this in that review, okay? I also have, with my Scotch Club, purchased this bottle, Glen Morangi, uh, Morangi, sorry, um, Signet, okay, this is a beautiful box, beautiful bottle. I'll be getting to that shortly, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I just set up my Facebook account, so just type in Whiskey in the Six in the search bar in, in Facebook, and you, you should be able to see some of my videos, some of my posts. Um, also, I have Instagram and Twitter, at Whiskey in the Six on Instagram, at whiskey, uh, yeah, at whiskey underscore in underscore the underscore six on Twitter. And um, I want to thank my subscribers. I'm built like I'm gaining daily, and that's because of you guys, so I appreciate it. Uh, please share with your friends so we can build this thing a little bit more. Um, other than that, I hope you guys all had a great Canada Day long weekend. Cheers.